Welcome back to Adventures in Freeze Drying. And today I'm super excited. I have finally mastered my salted caramel mocha bites. And I'm gonna share that recipe with you right now. This recipe is actually pretty simple. You'll want a one cup measuring cup, coffee that you've brewed that you've cooled off, preferably in the fridge so it's cold. You will want salted caramel coffee syrup. I really like this quarter past for this. Dove milk chocolate pudding, container of Cool Whip, and some milk. You'll want a mixing bowl, a tablespoon, measuring spoon, and your mixer, and then your molds um, to make your little bite-sized pucks. So let's start mixing this up. To begin with, I'm going to measure three tablespoons of my coffee syrup into the bottom of my one cup measuring cup. Then I will fill the, this the rest of the way to one cup or one cup of milk to go with my pudding. And then I'll measure one cup of coffee to go with my pudding and we'll get this mixed up. Once I have this mixed up, I'm going to let it sit for about two minutes. Then I will add an entire carton of eight ounce Cool Whip to this and get it stirred together. And then we'll get it put into our molds. This will be a little bit on the runny side, which is just fine because we're going to freeze this solid. I use a tablespoon to fill up each of my molds. This will fill up about 48 holes on my molds here. Um, my molds hold 15 each and I've cut a couple of my 15 molds apart so I can get more than one mold on a tray. I have tried this with Dove dark chocolate pudding and I liked it, but I don't feel it tasted as salted caramel mocha, um, but it was still a very good coffee bite as well. So I have these all put in molds, ready to go into my freezer. I will let these freeze for 24 hours before I pop them out of the mold, put them on a parchment lined tray, and then run them a full cycle in my freeze dryer. So we'll see you when these are coming out of the freeze dryer. I made a total of two batches of the salted caramel mocha bites. Um, so it was a total of 96 individual bite-sized treats, and it took just over 20 hours for those to freeze dry. Now I have loaded more on the trays before and had it take more 24 to 30, um, but this was a light load, and so these freeze dried pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and give them a taste test. These mocha bites turned out absolutely perfect. They're nice, they're dry, they're very lightweight. They crunch, but they're not too dry, that they're not so styrofoam. Mm. That is really good. Melts in your mouth. Tastes like salted caramel mocha. That is a win. You can find this recipe and all of my recipes on freezedryingcookbook.com. Join me next time on Adventures in Freeze Drying.